Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. For premium content, dwyer70905.substack.com. Let's talk NFL football. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. By the way, the Herring Stevenson video will be posted early next week. Okay? I made some early bets uh, in the week. We'll talk about them. Then I also made some later bets in the week. Let's talk about the early bets. I'll tell you the odds I got. I'll tell you the date I made the bet. I like the Kansas City Chiefs. I got them laying two and a half points on the road over Baltimore. Just understand that Lamar Jackson has had a problem against Kansas City in the past. Andy Reid's defenses always have a bit of a pass rush. Not that the defense is elite, but they have the pass rush, and that's what's going to trouble Lamar Jackson. Also, Baltimore has other problems. A lot of guys injured. Right, so on the 12th, I got KC laying two and a half over Baltimore. Right, since then, Baltimore lost to the Rams on Monday night. The line shifted a little bit. We'll talk about my later week picks as well. In a pick that's still on the board, on the 12th, I got the New Orleans Saints laying three points uh, on the road at the Carolina Panthers. Folks, what a difference a week makes. Sam Darnold was a guy who was in danger of sliding out of the league. Then, of course, he beats his old team, the Jets, who are one of the worst teams in the league. Now you're telling me that I only have to lay three points um, with a team that destroyed the Green Bay Packers week one. Let's remember, folks, Jameis Winston threw for five touchdowns week one. The Saints have one of the elite defenses and one of the elite offenses in the National Football League. And I only have to lay three points in this game. <clears throat> Sign me up. I'll take it. I like the Saints laying three points on the road. That's what I got on September 12th. Also, I paid a little bit. I bet at a casino where you could pay money to get a better line. So I bid down the New England Patriots. This, by the way, is without a parlay, right? Without a teaser. I bid down the Patriots to a minus three. Look around online. You'll find some casinos that allow you to bid down, right? You need to check the legality in your jurisdiction right please don't ask me where to bet that's not my job that's your job right I have to be cognizant of YouTube's rules and regulations all I can say is if you look around you should be able to find places where you can agree to worse odds to have some accommodation on the line right you'll also notice too that you can find casinos that have a range, different odds being offered for different lines. On an alternative line, I got the Patriots minus three at a minus 160 against the New York Jets. Folks, here's what I need to say. Robert Sala, God bless him, he is a rookie head coach. His quarterback, Zach Wilson, is a rookie quarterback. I will take Bill Belichick seven days a week over rookie head coaches with rookie quarterbacks. Let me also say, too, I know Belichick has his own rookie quarterback. I've looked at a lot of rookie quarterbacks over the years, right? Let's just say that Mac Jones is a ringer. I'm in the Bay Area. Here we were talking about whether the Niners should pick Trey Lance. I was here online last season saying the Niners will pick Trey Lance. 
or Mac Jones. <clears throat> and people said Jones lacked the athleticism to be elite and that um, Trey Lance just had a higher ceiling. Right? I'm just telling you that looking at Mac Jones's composure and decision making, he is precocious. He has me convinced that he's ready. Maybe not ready for a Super Bowl. But let's just say right now as a rookie, Mac Jones looks above average to me. Right now, Zach Wilson is very talented, but he's a gunslinger. Also, Sala is a defensive guy who doesn't have a Josh McDaniel on a staff. Right, let's remember in New England, you do have an offensive risk taker controlling the offense up there. I think Matt Jones is going to do just fine against the Jet defense. I think the Patriots are going to cover the three points against the Jets. Again, that's an alternative line. You need to look around for it. Right? Also, on the 12th, you know, the Jacksonville Jaguars lost week one. I'm not saying they're a juggernaut. By the way, that's another rookie head coach. Right? Urban Meyer has done a lot of things. Coaching NFL football is not one of them <clears throat> with a rookie quarterback. But I got to tell you, Trevor Lawrence threw for three touchdowns. I know he had some problems with picks, but he threw for three touchdowns week one. He threw the ball a hell of a lot, didn't he? Look at the attempts week one. Right? Denver, you need to circle Denver. As long as Teddy Bridgewater is healthy, Denver is an extremely dangerous team. That Denver offense seems to be clicking. Yes, I'm concerned Jerry Judy got hurt. Right, that is a concern. But Bridgewater is the kind of guy who you could buy a Denver Bronco jersey, show up on the sidelines unauthorized, jump out on the field during a play and if Teddy Bridgewater sees you open Bridgewater reads defenses so well that he'll find you with the football I think Bridgewater is uh, underrated I think Denver's underrated I believe both teams are gonna put up points on the 12th of September I got an over under number of 44 I took the over 44 points. Now let's talk about my bets later in the week. Some lines shifted. It's still early in the season. Uh, I don't want to play around too much with point spreads because I'm not 100% certain. I haven't seen enough of the teams to have a good gauge on the margins. So, I revisited KC at Baltimore after I saw Baltimore on Monday night lose I put some extra money down on KC at a minus 190 on the money line then of course there are the Tennessee Titans at Seattle folks you know I believe that the best quarterback in the game is either Aaron Rodgers or Russell Wilson right and Russell Wilson's a juggernaut in September's I like the Seahawks at a minus 260. Right? I threw some money on the Patriots at a minus 240 on the 16th, right? These bets were made yesterday. I threw some money on the Denver Broncos on a money line at a minus 260 against Jacksonville yesterday. Uh, and of course, I re upped my bet on the Saints laying three on the road at Carolina. So that's how I'm playing the NFL this weekend. Let me know your thoughts. Right in the comment section of this video if you have ideas that you want to share with the YouTube public. I hope you do so in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.